environmentalists and landowners worried about the safety of their drinking water. New regulations today on natural gas fracturing, but it's a compromise that some say doesn't go far enough. In depth tonight, here at Fort Lauren Traeger reports. They came in and started drilling fast and furious, you know. Bill Treese's farm has been in the family for three generations. Five years ago, with cattle ranching not what it used to be, he leased his land to a natural gas company. Now, concerned for the safety of waterways nearby, he's wishing he hadn't. They say it's completely safe. And there's no nothing to worry about, and uh, and I'm not sure that that's the case. What worries him is a process called hydraulic fracturing. That's where gas companies pump millions of gallons of water, sand, and chemicals into their wells, fracturing the shale underneath. As the fluid comes back up, natural gas comes with it. The companies say the fracking fluid is over 99% water and sand. But until now, officials could only guess about the tens of thousands of gallons of chemicals also entering each well and being disposed of in local areas. We really don't know what uh, we're checking for. You know what chemicals to be looking for. All in favor, please raise your hand. After Tuesday, that information will come to the surface. The Arkansas Oil and Gas Commission voted to join only two other states to now require gas companies to disclose their chemicals. I think that we've reached a compromise where the chemicals are disclosed uh, and uh, the public knows what those are. Uh, but yet it's not done in such a way as the formulations are disclosed. A compromise, because companies will not say how much of the specific chemicals they use. That, they argued, is a secret recipe. This is a, this is a start. This is a great start for Arkansas. Environmental advocates say, though, it's a step. It's not enough. I'd actually like to see a moratorium until they can prove they can do this and not hurt anyone's water or soil. That's what I'd love to see. But the commission says the concern has been dealt with. So do you think this rule helps protect our cans and band our drinking water yes. supply? And now other state agencies will review this tentative new rule if after 30 days the oil and gas commissioners have no further changes to make to it. But this new rule will not require disclosure for wells that have already been drilled. Obviously there's lots of those in the state. And the only way we will find out the amount of chemicals used is if that information is requested by a doctor after someone gets sick. Live at the state capitol, Lauren Traeger, KARK 4 News. All right, Lauren, thank you.